Are you aware that 70% of pastors constantly fight depression and burnout for the frustration experience as a result of ministry workload, discouragement, and pressure? We help leaders grow healthy churches. We are excellent at what we do, and we are fast becoming the best of the very best. MagnaCraft Consulting is set up to help both small and large-sized churches become healthier by using proven diagnostics tools, effective retention strategies. We give the right and appropriate and professional advice. We are the certified church consultants with the Society of Church Consulting in the United States of America. Trust us to help you grow. Don't wait till it's too late. You will be glad you did. Call us now on 0802-324-2258. Email contact at magnacraftconsulting.com or magnacraftconsulting at gmail.com. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at MagnaCraft Limited. MagnaCraft Consulting, doing church God's way. Hello, welcome to Monday Morning Matters live broadcast show brought to you by MagnaCraft Consulting Team, anchored by Ni Dumade, a certified church consultant with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S. Here each Monday of every week, we address important, relevant, and and actionable topics of interest that will help you and your church grow healthier. And now, meet your host, Ni Dumade. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Matters. My name is Ni Dumade. I'm the founder CEO Magnicraft Consulting. So welcome to Monday Morning Matters. Monday Morning Matters come every Monday of the week. And so we're going to continue with our series on the pros and cons of target audience. So Monday, Monday Morning Matters has been coming your way over six years. So welcome to this Facebook Live broadcast show. It's unedited, raw, way it is to our facebook page and youtube channel um we've been talking on the pros and cons of target audience and today we're going to take it a step further into what we have to discuss yes thank you for hooking up with us we are glad you're part of this live broadcast show um i'm need to again i'm the founder and the ceo of magnicraft consulting I'm founder and CEO of Magnicraft Consulting. Baby Bishop, thank you for the likes. I say it's real life, no, unedited, and it's coming your way. Magnicraft Consulting is a church consulting firm that helps local churches to grow healthier through empirical assessment, trainings, and strategic blueprint. So four things we use to help churches move from where they are right now to where God wants them to be is through empirical assessment, through revitalization strategies and training opportunities and strategic uh, blueprint. Our vision is to be the leading health, church health consultancy uh, that creates actionable, sustainable, and adaptable solutions. I'm also a certified church consultant uh, with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S., um, I actually have a double certification as a church consultant and then I'm your host to the weekly Facebook live broadcast show every Monday 7 a.m. Nigerian time. I'm also known as a church health guide of the 21st century. Uh, I had a church over the weekend for training and it was massive. We do a training for church. A big thank you to all of them who hosted me uh, over the weekend and I, thank, I also thank you for all the likes, the shares and the reactions, the comments that we'll be having on our show thank you let's do a little bit of promo to pay some bills and then we'll go into the part two or four of pros and cons of target audience why should a church have target audience and what guidelines can the church have to make sure that they are able to um, take advantage of the target audience strategy to enhance their church growth let's do a little bit of promo and then we'll come back Okay, so this Monday morning, Monday morning matters with me, Dumade. I'm coming your way every Monday, every Monday, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. But today, we're coming a bit earlier because uh, of some little uh, things we need to address too. But somehow, I know people are going to watch this replay. Uh, so we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of target audience. What are the guidelines? What are the things you need to know? 
for your church to be able to crystallize a workable target audience that will affect your church growth. I'm also need I'm, I'm need you, Maddie. I'm the certified church consultant. I help local churches grow healthier through empirical assessment, revitalization training, and strategic blueprint. And I believe my expertise could be of benefit a great deal to your church. Okay, so Dr. Tom Reyna, if you don't know him, is a fantastic church consultant. Um, I've learned a lot from him. And if you want to become a well-trained, well-equipped, want to become a certified church consultant to help, we need more pastors, we need more consultants. And so if you want to become a certified church consultant, reach out to me in any of the platforms, social media platforms of, Ma of MagniCloud Consulting. We're going to give you all the information you need to be able to assess over 40% discount uh, for those trainings. Um, I paid heavily for this, but thank God that um, Dr. Tomrina is giving you over 40% discount to be able to get to access this training so I can revitalize your own church and revitalize other churches or create a side gig income for yourself. If you have not gotten my church retention book, please get it. It's a, a fantastic book. If you want to understand church growth um, um, technicalities, get my book on church retention. It's on Amazon. You can reach me on, the, on any of the social media handles and we're going to ship that to you. It's also on Amazon. My second book is also um, running out of stock, Boston Church Growth Meet. Please make sure you get it. It's also on Amazon, on Kindle version. And it's all you can do print on demand on Amazon. All right, so let's go into the juice of today. Uh, we've done pay some bills, and so we can go straight up into the juice of the day. Now, the thing is, <coughs> excuse me, the thing is, we let us do a little recap of our last X episode. A target audience is a specific group of people identified as an intended recipient of a church product or services okay or uh, message your message does not resonate with everybody in the whole world okay your service does not resonate with everybody in the whole world now the thing is if you are if a church is getting led screens and acs maybe it's because of their target audience so you don't just have to um follow every strategy because that strategy might not uh, be part of the strategy that will help your own target audience. So in the context of a church, the target audience could be a demographic group of people uh, who can who, who the church can reach and minister to. All right? Who the church can reach and minister to. And so we started last week. If you have not watched part one or four, I would love you to go back there. In part one of all, we talked, we defined target audience. We looked at the biblical perspective. Jesus Christ, when he was on earth, did not reach out to the whole world. He reached out to the lordship of Israel. He reached out to the lordship of Israel. And then from the lordship of Israel, he was able to reach out to the entire world. So that's the biblical perspective of target audience. Every church needs to have a target audience because your church assimilation system, your church outreach effort, your church discipleship process cannot work for everybody. And that's why sometimes when I see pastors who have come back, they know they cannot process, they know they cannot establish, they cannot get them grounded. They try to establish them in churches that will be able to follow them up, to give them the, the, the discipleship training they need because it's all about the kingdom. A church, uh, especially young ones or mid-sized church, do not have all it takes to process all kinds of disciples for all kinds of demographics and psychographic in the community. And so there's benefits to it. We talk about the benefit of target audience and the potential people it has. Today, we're going to look at the importance of family unit. As you have target audience, what is the importance of having family units? What's also the biblical perspective? What is the benefit of also targeting families? Because I, as a church consultant, I always want to employ pastors to... Um, to target families, assimilation process, your outreach effort, your discipleship uh, process must be apt to process family units. That's father, mother, children, absolutely maids, or anyone who came to visit them. The thing is, if the church is effective in assimilating women, there's a likelihood that your church will be filled with women. If your church is having an outreach strategy, for men, there's a likelihood that men will be more than women in your church. But if, uh, I said that in part one, that your church needs to have a community analysis. And then your church needs to reflect. 
the demographics and the psychographics of those who are in the Jerusalem, the community of the church. So there's the importance of family unit in the church. Family have as a cornerstone of our church community. And that's why in my church in Abuja, when they go into family relationship marriage, there's a lot of issues addressed. And from there, you can foster unity, you can support uh, these people and also come up with a strategy to reach out to families. Now, the truth about is that families are there. How many of the people in your church, in your community are into the uh, uh, family? All of them. So we need to begin to have a strategy for family engagement. Family engagement because there's a strong correlation between active family participation and church growth. Once a father who is the head of a home has decided to be part of a church, there's a likelihood that the wife and the children will be part of the church. You know, but unlike when, they, of course, when the mother is also um, in church, oh, internet, you help me please. When a, a, a mother is interested in joining a church, there is also a likelihood that the wife or the mother of the house is going to influence other people in the other members of the family to be part of the church. And so there is a um, strong correlation between an active family participation and those who end up become part of the church in terms of church growth. And so the critical role family play in church vitality is very, very, very important. Now, from biblical perspective, now the Bible says in Joshua chapter 24, 24 verse 15 says what? It says, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So that's the objective of, 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 of God. He doesn't want one member of your family to be saved or one member of the family to take advantage of what the church has to offer. But he wants you and your entire household to be connected to him in service and in fellowship. This verse emphasizes the importance of family commitment uh, to serving God. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 4, these verses provide instructions for family life within the church uh, context. So when the church is established, we need to be able to be seen to establish the institution, the family understanding that there's respect, there's definite roles for father, mother, children, there's obedience, there's submissiveness, there's love, and there's nurturing as key component of the family unit. Now, what are the benefits of family unit? Now, if you reach out to a family unit, there's a likelihood that you're going to get more than one person added to your church. Okay? Families create a nurturing space conducive for spiritual growth and mutual support. So what are other things that I've seen where children are interested in the church and the father and the mother just decided to be part of the church. So you can imagine the benefit because a child is comfortable in the children's church. The father and the mother decided to be part of the church. All right. So when you are having a multi-generational church uh, community approach needs to be in place. You have to appeal to the boomers, you have to appeal to the millennials, you have to appeal to the Gen X, Y, and Z, and the Alpha. So first, focusing on family helps build a church that spans multiple generations, enriching our community with diverse perspective, inclusiveness, and experience. Now, one of the things is that as you do your resource allocation program, make sure that you provide tailored resources and programs that strengthens family bond, family unit, and promote holistic development of the entire family. So what is the um, potential challenges? Now, diverse family structure, because there are a lot of families, there are different time, different family structure. It's not as easy. That what God has ordained is a nuclear family. Father, mother, there are diverse family structures, and that's one of the potential challenges it has. For example, when a man gets married to two, three, four wives, and all of them are from different religious um, affiliation, it puts a potential challenge to you having a family unit as a target audience. And you need to acknowledge that challenge. You need to also find a way to address that very dynamics of family structures, family units, so that you can ensure that all those different types of members or families uh, as a target audience are felt, are, are reached, they are included, and they are valued. Inclusivity is very important. Don't say because a believing wife is married to an unbelieving wife, we are not going to uh, bring the issue of inclusivity into it. Balancing focus on families while also embracing the spirit, the um, non-nuclear family structure, the childless uh, couples uh, is also crucial because we have them in our churches, childless couples, which are very crucial for us to reach out 
and foster the truly inclusive community uh, on this. So we're talking about the pros and cons of having target audience and focus on the family unit. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for following us all through. Uh, as you can see your likes, thank you so much. Uh, so get, if you want us to uh, uh, get to uh, a kind of uh, avatar description of a family unit that your church is going to reach, you can reach out to us. We can help do a community analysis because the, the thing is, if you want to get a member avatar uh, description, it must be from the prominent um, this the description in your community in your all right and said this uh, in a program that if you want to make an uh, impact in the auto part of the earth you have to um you have to make sure that you make an impact in your jerusalem you cannot just neglect your jerusalem and you want to make an impact in the outermost part of the earth so the impact of your church is from the jerusalem and, the, and that's because your church location is not by accident and when you are able to get the back, you can begin to make that impact on Samaria, on Judea, and on to the uttermost part of the earth. So let's help you to be able to crystallize the kind of uh, descriptive uh, 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 characteristics of the family unit because what Church A is going to address in a family unit or uh, of a target audience will be different from Church B. So if you have any church related questions for me or inquiries, let's have them in any of the social media handles. And sure, you're going to get more than an answer from me. You have any queries, you have any questions, you want any, you have any comments, please let's have them in any of the social media and to get it across to you. Please, this video has been helpful to you. I've seen some likes. Please give us a like so that the artificial intelligence um, in this social media platform will help us to be able to push it out to other church leaders and so to help other people to also watch. Please give us a like. Share us to your community. Drop me a comment in the comment section. You've heard from me. Let me also learn from you. Drop me a comment in the comment section what you feel about the content we have shared and we will sure give you uh, a response immediately. All right. We also, we also do consultation. We do revitalization. We do training. We do strategic planning for churches. Reach out to us and let's see how we can help your church. But please like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will be notified when new content has been uploaded and they come on live uh, to your screens. And so please, we do consultation, we do revitalization, we do trainings, we do strategic planning. Reach out to us and let's see how we can help your church with excellent church consulting for health, vitality and result. If you have not... Um, uh, engage a church consultant before you can give us a trial and you see that the way we do churches i mean churches uh, all over the world have engaged our services but the way we do ours is different and it's sure going to give you health vitality and result at the end of the day the number is on the screen and let's see how we can get you our services across thank you for the attention thank you for also following Thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments, and may God bless each and every one of you uh, as you have a fruitful and exciting week ahead. Till I come your way next week, Monday, with part three or four of the pros and the cons of target audience. I say bye-bye, I love you, and God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, I saw it. It disconnected me. Sir.